Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 4 of the self-driving car with lane detection using Raspberry Pi. So far we have extracted our lane and created a warped image of it. In this video we will use pixel summation to find the value of the curve in the warped image. So let's get started. So now we are moving to step number three, which is our main step. And here we are going to find the curve in our lane. Now let's look at the basic concept first, and then we are going to write down the code. So here you can see that we have discussed this before that we are going to use pixel summation. And for every column, we are going to add up all the pixels and we are going to get a value for it. So once we do all the summation, we can see that we have more uh, pixels on the left hand side and we have less pixels on the right hand side so we can say that okay the curve is towards the left but how can we determine that how much curve is present and how much left we have to move plus there is also a issue with this method let's look at the issue first and then we will look at how we can solve it so here the idea is that when we have more pixels so we are talking about the right curve here so when we have more pixels on the right hand side, we will say the curve is on the right. When we have the same number of pixels on the left and the right, we are going to say that, okay, we are going straight. And then we have, when we have left, uh, when we have more pixels on the left hand side, we are going to say that our curve is on the left. Now this is straightforward, but let's look at where this will fail. It will fail when you have more pixels on the left hand side, when your image is not centered, when your path is actually not centered. So you will have more pixels on the left hand side and less pixel on the right. So it will say your curve is towards the left, but in reality it's actually going straight. And the same thing will happen on the right curve. You can see that we have more pixels on the right hand side. So it will think that this is the right curve. So how can we fix this problem? Well, we can fix this by actually adjusting the center line. So initially our center line was in the center of our image. If we adjust it to the center of our lane, then we can easily tell that the number of pixels are same on both sides. That's why it is straight. So we are going to apply this technique where we will first find the center of our uh, path and then using that center we are going to apply uh, the summation of pixels. From there we are going to find out how much curvature is present. But how can we do that? Now coming back to our main image, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight columns that have let's say more than a certain threshold let's say that threshold is 500 or 1000 so we have eight columns on the left hand side that are above 1000 and we have three columns on the right hand side that are above 1000 so what we can do is we can find the index of all of these so we can find the index of this for example this will be one a zero this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we can take the index of all of these and we can average the value. So doing the average at this point will give us somewhat a value around here. So once we get that new index value, we can subtract it from our center point. So for example, if we are at this point, it will be 0, 1, 2, we are getting 2, and then over here, let's say our value is 8, so we can get the value of 6. This means that our curve is 6. Now, the same way we can get uh, the straight, and the same way we can get the right curve. So based on these index and averaging, we can simply find where the curve is and how much curve is present. So don't worry if you did not understand it completely yet. We will go step by step and we will display the output so that you can understand how we are getting the values. So the first thing we will do is we will go to our utilities and we will create a new function by the name get histogram. So this method can also be known as getting a histogram. That's why we will use the name of the function as uh, get histogram. So get 
histogram now inside that we are going to send in our image of which we want to find the histogram or of which you, we want to find the summation of pixels so the first step is to sum all the columns so it might look complicated but in reality it's very simple so all you have to do is you have to find you have to use the function sum so we will write histogram values is equals to numpy dot sum we will sum the complete image in our axis one so axis one is basically your height so that will sum all the pixels in the height which is our columns so if we print this out so let's see what we get so we will go back to our lane and over here we are going to say that this is step three and then we are going to say utilis dot get histogram and then we will send in our image warp so if we run this and there you go so this is the list as you can see uh, actually it's a numpy array that we are getting which has all the values of the summation of each pixel now we have 480 uh, uh, columns that's why we will get 480 values so each value is the summation of those pixels so as you can see that if we run our uh, video you can see that initially it's towards the left hand side so if we go up and we see the initial values you can see that initially more of them are towards the left hand side and on the right hand side we are getting zeros so here you can see initially it's zero 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 and then you have uh, let me just run it again and if I stop this now you can see that on the left hand side we have zeros and then we have some white and then we have white again so this is how we can get the summation very easily so once we have all the values of our summation we are going to find the maximum value so that we can define a good threshold of what we can accept as a path and what is noise so anything that is very low for example this value 51 399 we should ignore these values these are too small to be actually part of our path this is just random noise uh, somewhere so to filter that out we have to find the maximum value so here you can see that it is 61200 we are going to find this maximum value and we will say that if you are getting at least 60 percent or 50 percent of this value then this is the path otherwise it is noise so here to find the maximum value we will say max value is equals to numpy dot max and then we are going to give in our histogram of values so this will give us our value if you want to see what that is we can print it out so that will say max max value so let me remove this or should we keep it? let's keep it let's run that and there you go so as you can see we are getting the max value as 61200 and you can see that this is the maximum value everywhere so that is good so then we are going to set our minimum threshold that should be accounted as our path and not noise so we will say that the minimum value to qualify as our path is equals to minimum percentage minimum percentage multiplied by our maximum value so where do we get this minimum percentage we ask the user so here we will say minimum percentage we will keep it default let's say 0 0.1 so if it's above 10 percent it will account it as path and not noise so that will be that and how can we determine that so we are going to <coughs> so now we are going to filter all these values so we will say that index array so as we discussed before now we have the summation of each column 
now we need to find the index values of each one of them so we will say that if our value is above let's say 1000 which is let's say 50 percent of our threshold then we will find the index of it then we will say 0 1 2 3 and we will save all of them in one list and then we will take the average of that list to find our curvature so the index values we can find using the numpy dot where function so we can write in that wherever histogram values are above or equals to our minimum value we need to get the index of them so so this will give us a list of array wherever we have the value that is greater than our minimum value so then we can simply find our base point using the uh, average function so numpy dot average and what do we need to average we need to average the index array so this will give us a float but we don't need a float because we want to plot it later on so we will convert this into integer so it is plottable and uh, so what we can do is we can print this out to see what is our base point so if we run this here you can see now we are getting a base point value that is changing based on our curvature so but we don't know uh, how actually it is moving so we will plot this out to see uh, whether we are headed in the right direction or not now uh, two things we are going to plot one is the histogram which will be the summation of the pixels in y direction and then the second one is the base point that we have but we don't want to plot them while we are actually running the the main code on raspberry pi so we will give in an option of displaying it or not displaying it display is equals to false so if you want to display we can turn it on to actually display so over here we will write if display so we will create a new image to draw our histogram and plot the base point now this can be done with matplotlib as well but uh, it is not very good in real time so we will be using opencv for that as well so we will we will create an empty image using numpy and then we will plot using opencv so we will write image histogram is equals to numpy dot zeros and then we will send in the shape so the image dot shape at zero and then the image of shape dot shape at one and then we are going to say that this will be three channels and then we will say that these are unsigned integers of eight bits which is part of the numpy library so the next thing we are going to plot it so what do we need to plot if we go back to our image so we want to plot the index so this is index 0 index 1 index 2 and we want to plot the intensity of it so over here the intensity is 1275 over here it's 1275 over here it's 1530 so it will tell us which way the curve is leading towards so let's do that so we will say that for x and intensity in enumerates we want to enumerate our histogram values hist values so we are going to write that cv2 dot line so this is what we are doing for the histogram so we we'll write image and then we have to give in the points so the first point will be x and the second point will be the height of our image so we will say image dot shape shape at zero and uh, then we have to give in the second point the second point is again x and now we will give it the intensity so this will be the intensity 
because the intensity is really high and it will not be shown properly in our image we will divide it by 255 so this way we will know how many uh, number of pixels in each column are on and how many of them are off so this will be that and then we are going to give it a color so let's give it purple 2550 and 255 and then we are going to give it a thickness the thickness we can uh, f give it as one so let's see how that works oh so we need to give it we need to return the image so return we we are returning two things actually so the main thing we have to return is the base point and then we can return the image if it is required so we can return base point and then image histogram so we will return this if the display is on otherwise we are going to return just the base point so return uh, base point so then what we will do then we are going to so then we will go back and we will say that this is our base points and we have to unpack the image histogram and we will display the image histogram as well so we will copy this and over here we will write image histogram and we will write here histogram So if we run this now, we have an error, histogram, oh yes, by default it's false, so we have to write here display is equals to true. And there you go. So where is our histogram? This is what we are getting. It's displaying it here. In this image okay so there is a problem yeah this should not be image this should be image histogram so if we run this now this is our histogram which does not seem right why um, okay so I think yeah here in the intensity we have to subtract our image shape as well from this so we have to subtract the height from this because it's in the opposite direction uh, this is because our uh, top is zero zero and then our bottom is um, the maximum so we will subtract we'll copy this and we'll subtract this and let's see and there we have it so now we are having the histogram here and we can see that the values are moving towards the left and then they are moving towards the right so now what we can do is we can uh, find the base point so we can we already have the base point we can plot it so we can write cv2 dot uh, circle we want to do it on our image histogram and then we need the center the center will be our base point and then the height of our image and then we are going to give it a radius let's say 20 and then we have to give it a color let's say yellow comma 255 comma 255 and then we will say that cv2 dot filled so if we run this now and there we have it so now we can see that where is the average and how far is it going So this is it for today's video. In the next part, we are going to look at how we can improve and stabilize our curve using different techniques. We will also show the final result on the original image. Now, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.